So let's go over some terminology that you're gonna hear when we're talking about DNS. The first one is root. And root is the way we pronounce the very top of this DNS hierarchy. We spell it with a dot, but we pronounce it as root. The next one is TLD, which stands for top level domain. And they are the ones that are in this level here, right below the root of the hierarchy. There are ones like com, net, edu, uk, and there's others that you've heard about like gov, uh, org, net, um, a whole bunch of the country ones like uh, .jp for Japan, US for United States, plus some ones you may not have really heard about like .info, .biz, and so forth. Uh, another one, another term is FQDN, which stands for fully qualified domain name. And a fully qualified domain name is one that's completely spelled out. Like, let's take this point right here, this, this one down here, this ASPMX. Its fully qualified domain name is ASPMX.L.Google.com. Dot. And this last dot here comes from the root of the DNS hierarchy. So when we spell out the entire domain name, starting from the bottom and working our way all the way to the top, use each one of these names as we um, go up the tree, and then we also include the one at the very end, the dot here. Now, uh, when you're browsing the web and sending emails, you've probably never put that dot in there, and usually your computer uh, puts it in there for you so you don't have to worry about it. But as we start playing with some of the DNS tools and setting up our own domains, we're going to find that it's important to include that dot at the end. Uh, another term is host. A host is a point in this tree that refers to a specific computer. This tree is built up of all these names organized in a, in a structure like this, but not all of these are actually computers, like, like edu right here. That, that's not an actual computer, that's just the top of a domain name. Um, however, this uh, point like this right here, www.yahoo.com, that might be an actual computer. And so this is a host. But the, the distinction is really kind of fuzzy because there can be also a host like here at yahoo.com. There could be an actual computer responding to requests. At this point, is also a domain. So, so like I said, the, the distinction is kind of... Um, a little fuzzy, but you'll hear people referring to things like um, host names or domain names, and usually they mean that a domain name is kind of like somewhere in the middle of this tree and a host name is down here at the bottom, but it, it, it's easy to kind of mix them up. So of course along with host we need to include domain and also throw in subdomain. And a subdomain is, is merely just a domain that's below some other domain. Like uh, here, this L right here in the tree is that uh, the L is a subdomain of the Google.com domain. So this is the L subdomain. And there are subdomains all over in this tree here, like um, CS is a subdomain of the UCSD.edu domain. But, uh, you know, UCSD is a subdomain of the EDU domain, and EDU is a subdomain of the, the root. So, so it's really there's no difference between a subdomain and a domain except kind of to explain to someone else that you're either talking about uh, one point in the tree or some point that's below in the tree. So those are some of the basic terminologies. There's a uh, root, we've got TLD, top level domain, we've got fully qualified domain name or FQDN, we've got host, domain, and subdomain.